As of 2021, the global population is about 7.8 billion. In 1971, the world population was around 3.8 billion, so it has nearly doubled in 50 years. And that number continues to increase every moment. The depletion of natural resources such as water and oil, as well as environmental destruction, present numerous challenges for humanity, even at the current population. Even with 7.8 billion people living on Earth, there are already countless problems, and it is predicted that the population will continue to grow. Will the population keep increasing without limit? 10 billion, 100 billion, a trillion people? If that happens, what will life for humanity be like? Is it even possible for one trillion people to live on Earth? This time, let's explore what would happen if the Earth's population reached one trillion. Concerns about overpopulation have existed since ancient times. As early as about 1,800 years ago, around the year 200 AD, the theologian Tertullian wrote about his fears that the Earth's environment would be unable to support a growing population. For reference, the world population at that time was about 190 million, only about 1 40th of the current global population. Despite the concerns of scholars at the time, except for the 14th century, when the Black Death was rampant, the population has continued to increase. By the early 19th century, the world population was about 1 billion. Even then, many scholars expressed concerns about population growth. The most famous among them is the British economist Thomas Robert Malthus. While population increases exponentially, in other words, doubles and doubles again, the production of food to support that population increases linearly, at a steady pace. Eventually, food production can't keep up with the ever-growing population, and this leads to the collapse of society. On the other hand, despite wars and economic crises, the current population is more than seven times what it was at one billion, now reaching 7.8 billion. In the 2000s tens, many scientists signed statements declaring that population growth and environmental destruction are the greatest threats facing humanity. So, how will the population change in the future? Future population can be estimated based on current and projected birth rates. According to a 2019 United Nations estimate, the world population will reach about 11 billion around the year 2100, and after that, growth is expected to stop. After hearing all this, you may have noticed something. For ages, people have warned that population growth would trigger the downfall of humanity. But such a tragedy has never actually occurred. There are thought to be two main reasons for this. The first is that it is extremely difficult to predict future technological innovation. For example, Malthus claimed that food production could not keep up with population growth, but later the Haber-Bosch process was developed, allowing ammonia to be synthesized from nitrogen, which makes up about 80% of the air. This ammonia could then be used to make fertilizer, greatly increasing food production and averting crisis. A modern example, just 20 years ago, no one could have imagined watching science explainer videos on a smartphone. Population does not explode in just a few years. It increases over decades and centuries, giving us time to innovate. The second reason is that the resources we use today may be replaceable in the future. Many people have heard the phrase, if everyone on Earth lived like people do today, we would need 1.5 Earths. Whether this is exactly true is debatable, but it is clear that we are using resources faster than the Earth can replenish them. However, predicting the total amount of Earth's resources is also extremely difficult. There may be resources we haven't discovered yet, or resources that can't be extracted with current technology but could be in the future. In any case, there is no doubt that humanity is using up Earth's resources at a rapid pace. Because population growth is slowing, it is considered important that in the future, we reduce the amount of resources used per person. 
So far, that's the reality. But what if the population reached a trillion? Far beyond any normal prediction. A trillion people is about 128 times the current population of 7.8 billion. Even now, there's concern that we're overusing Earth's resources, so the idea of more than 100 times as many people seems like a hopeless number. However, some research suggests that with social reform and technological innovation, it might be possible for one trillion people to live on Earth. On the other hand, with our current social structure and level of technology, it would mean chaos for humanity. Let's look at what might happen if Earth's population reached a trillion. First, let's consider population density. Earth's land area is about 150 million square kilometers. If we divide the population by the land area, we can calculate the average population density for the planet. With today's 7.8 billion people, that's about 50 people per square kilometer. This is similar to the average population density of sparsely populated areas worldwide. Since deserts, the poles, and mountain regions aren't suitable for habitation, the overall population density is actually quite low. In contrast, with a trillion people, the average population density would be about 6,700 people per square kilometer. That's comparable to the density of present-day major cities. Of course, this would include places like the middle of the Sahara Desert and the polar regions. So, the entire planet would have the same population density as today's urban areas. As a result, most people would be forced to live in high-rise buildings. Furthermore, we would have to secure enough food and water for a trillion people. Even in today's world of 7.8 billion, it's estimated that about 800 million people are undernourished and 2.2 billion lack access to safe drinking water. In a world of 1 trillion people, this problem would only become more severe. Most likely food would also have to be grown inside skyscrapers, since there wouldn't be enough land for vast farms like we have now. There's also a high chance that all meat would disappear from our tables. For example, producing one kilogram of beef requires 25 kilograms of grain and about 15,000 liters of water. With food and water already in short supply, humanity would not have the luxury of raising animals for meat. When it comes to animals, the environment would be extremely harsh for all life except humans. Even now, we are said to be in the midst of a mass extinction, with species disappearing at an alarming rate. Some say the rate of extinction is equal to or even greater than that of the mass extinction 65 million years ago that wiped out the dinosaurs. In a world of one trillion people, environmental destruction to make room for humans, overhunting for food, and global warming would likely cause even more species to go extinct than new ones could evolve. It's likely that insects would be among the few survivors. Additionally, we would need methods to obtain energy for humanity's daily life and to process waste products such as carbon dioxide. As previously discussed, relying on the sun or volcanoes to dispose of waste is not realistic. Not only would we need energy for one trillion people to live, but also to process all the waste they produce. The Earth's surface would likely be covered with solar power systems and other energy infrastructure. Even so, energy would need to be conserved as much as possible, and people would be forced to live in extremely cramped conditions. The scenery left on Earth would be endless high-rise buildings and power plants covering the land, with people living restricted lives inside those towers. With current technology, a world of one trillion people would be unimaginably inorganic, but this world doesn't have to be limited to Earth. For example, the Moon is thought to contain about one million tons of helium-3, a substance that can release as much energy per gram as 40 tons of coal. This is enough to supply all of Earth's energy needs for a year. Just as daring explorers once set sail across the seas in the Age of Discovery, there is no doubt that a great age of space exploration will come, with humanity venturing out into the vast universe. That's all for Curiosity Science. See you next time.